Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Strong Bad, super cool game for us, for attractive people. I keep wanting to put an awesome in it, but there actually I don't think is an awesome game, awesome in it. Which is strange because there's an awesomeness meter. Anyways, we were ended last recording in this conversation with, and we've got more conversation to do here. So we're going to come over here to the city prison and talk to Diamond... Dimonical, who's going to tell us that he hired somebody to do something else for him to do a crime and we need to find these two criminal people. We've already talked about one of them. We need to now discuss the I others. I need some info, Diamonical. I'm your inside man. So we got to click on these two and Who get info. Who is this man with the plan? The plan is literally the architectural plans to the kidnapper's hideout. You'll definitely need those for breaking in purposes, and the man is your long-time arch-enemy, Perduki. Perduki! He's set up shop in an abandoned nightclub on the edge of Rainbow City. If I need any more info, I'll be back. You know where to find me, at least for the next five to ten. So we've got a new area. Uh, the war characters, I guess, that were introduced the at least one character that we haven't seen in a while. And it, like, I don't think we saw it in the last episode at all, episode three. Uh, what was his name? The Poopsmith. And then the King of Town didn't play too much of a role in episode three. Let's go and talk to him one I last time. I need some info, Diamonical. I'm your inside man. It specifically knocked me out, but I want to talk to him. Good thing Ronaldo isn't here right now. He hates to see hardened criminals go all soft serve. Says he's got no respect for tough guys that turn out to be wimps. Where is old Fizzhead? Um, he's waiting back at the brick wall, where it's safe. If I need any more info, I'll be back. You know where to find me, at least for the next five to ten. We're still looking for an item, and the only thing I have right now is a formula that would maybe make the plants grow. Let's see, I could try the formula on different things. Let's talk to Ronaldo first. Let's see, three things to talk here. You know, this isn't the first time I've come in contact with the rare stick and knee flower. Are you talking about that girl in Paris again? You gotta let that go. After all, you ended up leaving her stranded in Cairo. You don't think she's still mad about that? Keep your head in the game, Dangerous. Cutesy Buttons better be ready to fork over several sacks of cash for rescuing her and getting her rainforest formula. I'd just be happy to get a hug from Marzipan. What? What? Or I said nothing. Hmm. Well, it looks like we don't have to worry about Baron Darren Diamonical for a long, long time. What'd you do? Break his legs? Kick his teeth in? Petition the court system to extend his sentence an additional four years? Let's just say he won't be attending that hat convention in July. I don't get it. Neither do I, Ronaldo. <laughs> I don't get it Neither either. Neither do I. Just trying to say things to sound cool. Isn't that strong bad in a nutshell, though? Trying to say things that are cool? And... I would like to think, and I kind of do think people have grown out of that. Kids will be kids, teenagers Here will be go, teenagers. Stick. But. Whoa, you sprouted a something. But. Oh, I think. What have I done? In an attempt to save the rainforest, I've wiped out an entire forest of trees. Hmm. So the cereal box is just here. This actually looks like a nutritious part of your healthy breakfast. And not at all like a cheap marketing tie-in that has absolutely nothing to do with this movie. So was that a collectible? So Bertucci thinks he can hide out in an abandoned nightclub, eh? Well, you can't hide from danger -esque. We'll go ahead and stick that one right there. 
This time he's putting little stickers down instead of drawing it, by the way. So, Dangerous 3 merchandise. And collectibles. Do I still have the formula? Yes, I do. So, anytime I can find a plant and use the formula on a plant, I would assume that's the right move. Let's go ahead and try the formula in the shark pond. Ah, uh, no. Figured that would happen. Yeah, but I still don't have anything to get up to that area. So, are there... Like, what if I use the formula in the car? No way! Hmm, that's what I figured. So, strong Borneo. Here we go. And we can do this on the plants and see what happens. And he'll that come all the way to here. Interesting. interesting. So that didn't work. And I'll go ahead and double check the formula in the wet area of the quicksand. That's quicksand, man! I'm not sticking any of my stuff in there! Hmm. So let's see. This This I'm gonna drag down here. This I'm gonna drag this way. This one I'm gonna drag this way. This one I'm gonna drag this way. This one there. Hmm. And let's see. Move that one up there. I don't think there's anything else that the formula would work on. We could go back to the secret lab, but there's no plants in the secret lab, so... Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. Let's go ahead and go to Venice now. Oh, man, you kidding? You can't put Sonar Card Gauge in your movie? That guy is creepy with a capital C! And I don't think he's too clear on the whole fantasy reality thing, neither. You're crazy, man. Sonor Card Gage is awesome. He's perfect for the role of Dad Jurassic. So, they're intro the script? introducing script. a new character that from Homestar that I haven't seen in stand back before, and so I have, like, no idea. No, of course not. Well, here we are. Hmm. Ah, Venice. Hey, are you in the boat? Wake up! I have a gelato pizza pasta for you! Man, that guy is one heavy sleeper. Let's try the nunchuck gun on him. Interrogating inanimate objects isn't as helpful as you might think. Hmm. I guess I didn't try the nunchuck gun on the diamond guy, so I should have done that. There's a podium here. We've seen this scene once before. World solidest gold nugget. Solidest? Well, where is it? I want to steal it. Hmm. Uh, no. So maybe that's what this trinket is, is a solid gold nugget. We've got a river. What if we put the formula in the river? No way! Ah, the mighty river of this country. So majestic and wet. And so, anytime you talk about something being liquid, it, that's not an out and spit take. I thought that might be it, but whatever. Hmm. We'll try to numbchuck this guy, and then we'll talk Check to him. Check this thing out! Okay. No thanks for all. I'll never get your approval, will I, Dad? Never! Let's talk to this guy. Hey! You! Ask him about us. Um, hi, Dad. 
It's me, Dangerous. I know it's been. Hey, Brethany. Are you came to fetch the Dodgers? Um, yeah, Dodge. Yeah, you can't dodge me anymore, Dad. There's been a kidnapping and. No. The kids are all went to the Malvies. Yes, yes, the old uh, Malvies catacombs. Is that where the kidnapping you were never able to solve went down? I'll do it, Dad. I'll finish the case for you, and then you can help me rescue cutesy buttons. If you go to the store, can you buy just me a cheese burgwich? Hmm. Let's just keep going down this road of crazy. Let's say something mean. Dad, where have you been all these years? Mostly lining up the donuts. I don't know. It hasn't been easy, Dad. A kid like me, growing up on the streets. <laughs> I had to learn to be tough. Do things my way. And I did it all on my own. Okay then, Israel. I could really go for a nice cold marmalade. Let's say something nice now. Dad, I thought I lost you. No, oh, I was just on my 15 and a break. Finally, we can be a finally again, family again. There were some ducks in the ledger, <laughs> but they last away, I guess. But whatever. This it's is just bad. This is really bad. It, they're, they're trying to make like it's a joke. But even when they weren't doing this joke, Episode 1, 2, and 3 were pretty bad, too. You you have to prove that you are an expert at writing, an expert at dialogue, before you can play this trick and make bad versions of it. And still, that takes its own finesse to really do it right. And we're just not getting any of that. We're just being handed a bad game and going, that's the joke. Uh, you're supposed to like it because it's bad. And I was like, no, I, I'm never going to like anything because it's bad. You left me this mysterious trinket before you left, Dad. I have to know. What is it? That's real beautiful, Jennifer. Can I broach it for my prong date? Um, oh, I get it. You can't talk about it now. You never know who might be listening. So... That was almost completely useless, but let's talk to Ronaldo and see if there's any so more conversation. Ronaldo, what do you make of my dad, Dad Jurassic? I think he's a lost cause. And I think your choice of casting is going to cost us the Best Supporting Dad Award this year. Well, at least I didn't have to go through any more conversation. I really kind of want to avoid it. At this rate. These catacombs may be elusive to some, but I'll always know just where to find them. I'll stick them right next to Venice, since that was connected. I've we'll move down this way. We are going from place to place. Day. It's spooky and smells like sardines. And Dangerous doing almost nothing in any of them. And sometimes sardines, but only if we're out of fish sticks. You stay here and watch the entrance. This is something I've got to do alone. 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 This actually is bad point and click adventure design, too. You want multiple things in one place, not multiple places for per one thing. Uh, if there was a specific item I needed to use, for example, this formula, having just the map full of places that have nothing in them it, it's just like ridiculous it wastes your time you it's gonna make the game longer in in a very annoying fashion of having to wander around let's see what this mural is it looks like mexican food could this be a clue hey it looks like the number eight combo meal from el taco leches no it doesn't it looks like a clue one of my dad's clues about the lost kidnapping case. Let's see. If we were to start here at this taco and go this way and then go this way and then go this way. Could this be a clue? 
Hey, Ed looks like the number eight. No, it doesn't. Could but I can't. Hey, Ed looks like. No, it doesn't. Like, a taco goes here. That's good to know, but what else are we trying to find out here? Where's this one connect to? Um, this one crosses this line, so salsa, burrito, this one connects, and this is kind of hard to follow. Like, right here, you don't even know, does it connect to something? I guess it doesn't even matter, though, because if it crosses or connects through, it still ends up being nacho, so... Salsa, burrito, nacho, sombrero, heart, uh, dessert, taco, margarita, and the final thing is a chili pepper. So many groups of disembodied heads have come before me and failed. So... Let's try this. Interrogating inanimate objects isn't as helpful as you might think. Darn it. We'll try the formula on the skulls. Uh, no. Fine, click on the doors. Hey, look at that! You opened up that there gateway thingy! This is as far as Dad got. Man, that was easy! I can't believe he went totally nutsoid from one little... Oh. And so we got some skulls to click on. So many groups of disembodied heads have come just the before same me response. and fair. Then do these doors just open? This one's locked. And I'm not about to go backtracking through several environments looking for a stupid key that I missed along the way. I'll just have to find another way to open it. Hmm. So here's the puzzle. It's a true puzzle, but... I'll just spin this salsa, burrito, nachos, taco, and chili pepper was right. And then I don't believe this is right. Ah, good. The puzzle resets itself if I step away. Very clever. Darn it. Oh, man. Sombrero So heart. many groups of disembodied heads have Dessert. come before me and fail. I hope this works. Taco burrito. Nacho sombrero heart. Dessert, taco, margarita, pepper, and then the middle one. Hmm. Taco burrito heart it changed. Taco burrito nachos puzzled. Dessert. Taco. Hmm. See, I must have gotten something wrong. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a taco here. There it is. What's that? Roar, I'm a scary monster. Ooh. Look at me! I'm gonna bite your head off! Roar, grr, grr, grr. Holy crap! The cheat? What happened? You told me this was gonna look like some kind of giant T-Rex with tentacle arms and laser beam eyes! <laughs> Fix it in post? This is post! <laughs> oh. Crap! I better figure this thing out before that thing bites my extremely handsome head off. Let's get the trinket. Uh, 
Come on! Almost! Got it! It's almost! Oh. Nope, it's stuck in there. Well then, if it's stuck in there, we'll put this here. Whoa, this is so awesome! The trinket is merging with that ancient artifact. It's turning into... into... Hey. Oh, you'll never get past me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. The legendary blood-soaked albino griffin prism heart. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and try and shoot him. Freeze, nightmarish and realistically rendered CG monster. <laughs> oh no, my nunchuck gun jam. Better try something else. Hmm. Safety scissors. There's nothing on him I want to cut, except maybe a deal for 80% of the profits. Let's see, there's no separate oh, area. Never get past me. Formula on Quiet the monster. Punk. Get serious. That monster is a hundred feet tall with acid skin. That ain't gonna stop him. Let's go and try this, I guess. Hey, giant Octosaurus! Time for a little. Heart to heart! No! Oh. Hmm. Boxes. Ooh, what's this? What's this doing out here? This belongs back in wardrobe for me to try on later. I've unlocked a new costume thing. The Slick treacherously the... perched debris that caved in on the monster as it died. Classic stuff. And I the guess there's nothing perched... more to do with the boxes. And here's the poop smith guy, kidnapping victim, apparently. And the metal detector, so it is coming back. I thought for a this second we might have missed a bit. Ages ago by we might have actually not needed to do for it. Lost doubloons and Sergeant but Pepper only pizza palace tokens. Why, for a second, I thought they weren't going to stretch out this game with the same gag it they have for the previous three episodes? I have no idea. This is classic early Telltale. Just make the game feel long enough. You must be the kidnapped little girl, but you're a beautiful woman now. Shh, don't talk, baby. It's over now. I'll take this as proof that the case is now closed. And I'll tell my father he was right all along. What the creep jeepers is going on in here? I solved the kidnapping case, Ronaldo. She was kidnapped by a monster with a broken heart. That's the dumbest danger -esque. You're a genius. No, I'm <laughs> genius -esque. Now let's go tell Dad. Race you there. So we skipped well, out Dad, of that whole section. Never believed in me, but I did it. I solved the lost kidnapping case that you never could, and I have the proof right here. Oh, thanks for the recyclables, Angela. Pants will make a pretty good blanket. Uh, right, Dad. No time to waste. I'll meet you at the kidnapper's hideout once I get the plans. So, do I have anything? Just the metal detector. So we're doing this again. Looking for collectibles. It would be kind of funny if it was on this bridge, but I bet it isn't going to be. Didn't I just go all over this area? Hmm. Uh, what just happened there? place and it's not it's not showing anything I, I have to wonder 
is this back to like episode two where the the system just goes ding even if there's nothing to find? Uh, I should certainly at least be one step closer. The mighty river. It's like. I mean, how many times can I go around here? Yeah. Feels like I would have to be right on top of it. yet nothing so immediately I'm just gonna have to assume that that that's the issue with it let's see let's go back to this area and then we didn't try the nunchuck gun on him you're under arrest I know I am I'm already in prison oh yeah hmm Let's see, let's use this. And this is gonna be a huge amount of area to once again walk back and forth. And I'm dragging the mouse with the mouse button down. And who's to say that doesn't make it not work. It should work this way. It seems like it's gonna work this way. But then we just wore all over that area and it would be sort of funny if he said this thing was like not gonna work. It just goes beep. It's broken or something. But they needed to if they were going to pull off that gag, they would have needed to say it immediately. So I didn't waste any time doing this. Because this is really just wasting time. Now we've got extra time, sort of. They've rushed us through every single scene incredibly fast. Like, and I'm just all over this area. This is the biggest section. And we're just like, no extra beep, nothing. I'm so glad there aren't very many games with metal detectors in there. We do have some radar games that sort of work that way. Visceral cleanup detail has kind of a radar in it. It's like, yeah, and see, none of that worked. Uh, Seeing, yeah, you gotta click. You cannot drag. So I may have to just go. Apparently monogrammed by killing you guy so that kind of makes me want to go back to the same area because obviously you gotta sit here and click it's every single point that you end up in so actually you need to kind of click in a constant short movement so he just takes like two steps and then moves on further. Hmm. If anybody thought this was fun, I would seriously have to uh, question whether they have played or experienced a lot of good game play mechanics. It's like, even people who are making video games should have known this wasn't fun, that this is a pointless, mindless, busy work, and uh, in video games, that we don't need that. If I want to play 
pointless mindless busy work I'll do a jigsaw puzzle I'll do something ridiculous like that we've got enough pointless and mindlessness in 2016 anyways you can go go on to your Facebook Twitter whatever sites and just go down rabbit holes of that stuff video games are supposed to be entertainment thus they're supposed to be entertaining and engaging because they are an interactive form of entertainment versus something less interactive like sitting and listening to music or uh, reading a book watching movie all not interactive forms of entertainment but still entertainment so they need to be entertaining this is not entertaining this is dumb I'm making you suffer through this because I have to suffer through this so it becomes even more apparent it's like it's so wasteful so wasting everyone's time and that's kind of the whole episode in a nutshell and the whole series of episodes in a nutshell if you just don't love Humstar I don't see any reason why you'd play this game other than maybe you got the Telltale collection like me and you're just going through all of them uh, so far it seems thoroughly skippable completely completely skippable so let's see the other things I could do is I can move the story forward and I will I could go back to the office and see if there's something in there or the secret lab and see if there's something in there and I bet there isn't I could go to strong Borneo and see if there's something there uh, there is nine collectibles still somewhere to be found uh, I assume six of those are costumes and we've now numchuck six of 14 characters which kind of indicates that there's still going to be another eight characters that we're going to meet. I can't even think of Homestar Runner having eight characters, so that doesn't make any sense. And I don't think we're going to get the out and spit takes at this rate, and celebrity name drops we're doing all right with. We're at the awesomeness level of unfunny sidekick, and this game... I think is at the level of unfunny too so if they want to throw that out there I'll throw it right back at them it's just like oh man I am really not enjoying this for its comedy uh, and particularly this gameplay too is uh, there's nothing here as far as real puzzles to keep my attention it's all been dialogue it's gonna be super heavy in dialogue I can already tell because it's supposed to be this buddy cop movie style and that was would be mostly dialogue or some ridiculous action that doesn't even really take any puzzle design the biggest puzzle we've had is solving the door to open and that was a pretty big puzzle but super super easy to do all you had to do is follow the lines which was a little difficult to see and if you were doing that at 800 by 600 resolution too that probably would make it a little bit even more difficult to see but that's not really much of a puzzle just following lines anywho that's gonna be it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all of that helps me out if you want to support me you can click on my name Rido on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel click it make a donation and if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening